What's good, YouTube? This is Eddie from Sneaker Addiction, back with a new shoe review. Um, got something new today. Wanted to show you guys. I actually got this in last week, but didn't have time to make a video. It's been working like crazy. Um, but I got a new pair of shoes in. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know I got these in. I did post a pic of them when I first got them. It's the Yeezy Boost 350 once again. This is in the pirate black colorway. Um, as you guys can see, got the originals. The uh, Turtle Dove colorway that dropped, like, I guess that's back in, uh, damn, I'm really bad. It was either the end of June or the end of July. I can't remember which. I think it was the end of July, though. These dropped. Um, go check out my review of these. I'm going to put a link to it right here for you guys to click on and go watch that review. But dope shoe. Still wear these a lot. This is probably one of my favorite shoes in my rotation right now. Um, but this video is about the other colorway of these that just dropped. The Pirate Black colorway of the Yeezy 350 Boost. Hopefully that's focused for you guys. All prime knit upper on this shoe, which is Adidas answer to Nike's fly knit. It's going to be just a knit material with that pattern of dark gray and black going all over the upper. And then moving up along the top of the shoe there, you see the laces. These are going to be that grid pattern that you saw on the Turtle Dove colorway as well as the 750 Boost. It's just a grid pattern. This one, however, is a bit darker to match the rest of the colorway on this shoe, just like a dark gray and black on those laces as well. And then moving to the back, you have that little pull tab there. Just like what you see on the Pirate Black colorway, obviously just a different color. Oh, I'm sorry, the Turtle Dove colorway. It's gonna be just the same little red stripe being stitched along the center there. Turtle Dove is gonna be in gray, obviously, or like a really light tan color. And then the Pirate Black is gonna be all black once again. And to the bottom, you see that sole there. It's gonna be that ribbed for her pleasure all the way, <laughs> all the way around the shoe. As you guys can see, dope sole. Um, people consider this shoe like a, a similar shoe to the Roshi Runs that Nike made a couple years ago. Pretty similar in terms of just like the overall shape of the shoe, but once you actually get down to the materials used on this shoe and like the, the textures and things like that, this is a much better designed shoe than the Roshi, I think. I mean, the Roshis are good in there in that price range of like $90 to $100. That's a great kick around shoe just for everyday stuff. But when you really want to stun on people and have something that people are still going to be looking at, even though it's an all black shoe, this is something that's going to turn heads. This is something that people are going to, you know, be pointing at as they walk by you. Not so much with Roshis. Not hating on Roshis, they're just not a standout piece in my opinion. Onto the inside of the shoe though. You guys can see there, there's that suede patch right there with the Adidas Trefoil logo stamped in. And then if you move over to the other shoe, you have YZY stamped in on that suede. Going to the bottom on these, you have all black once again with that boost right there in the back of the shoe. You have that white boost material that Adidas has become known for the past year or two. I used to work at Adidas. That was like my last job. I worked at their, their headquarters. They have an employee store. That's where I worked. And I used to sell boost shoes like pretty much every day. That was the thing I would sell was boost. And they make some really, really comfortable shoes. I mean, boost running shoes. I wore those every day at work. I wore them at home. The time I worked there, they didn't have boost yet in the basketball shoes. But once they added to the basketball shoes, you best believe I was playing basketball and boost as well. I mean, it's so comfortable. You really can't beat it. Um, even if you don't get a pair of the Yeezys, I still recommend going on and trying trying on like a pair of Pure Boost or, or the Ultra Boost that just came out or any of the basketball shoes with Boost in them like the D-Rose. Just really comfortable. I mean, that's the type of shoe you can wear at work, you can wear them at home, you can wear them to run, you can wear them to play basketball in, you can wear them to walk. I mean, I could just go down a whole list of different things you can do in Boost shoes and it's always going to be comfortable. Um, but when you can get a pair like this that looks amazing and is as comfortable as Boost is, I would get these and wear them every day of the week if I could. And on the inside of the shoe, you have Adidas with the Trefoil logo there and then Yeezy in dark gray to match the rest of the shoe. All right, that is going to be the end of the review portion of this video. And now to move on to the on foot, these are going to be worn with a pair of black Acne Ace denim. Alright guys, thank you for watching another sneaker addiction review. Please stay tuned to the channel so you guys can see 
all my new videos before anybody else. Um, I'm gonna have some more videos coming soon. Hopefully I'm gonna be doing like a winter, fall pickup video with clothing. I mean, as you can see, I'm wearing a red flannel and like a gray hoodie under it right now. It's, it's been getting chilly in Portland. We've been having more rain and, and that sort of thing. So it's definitely time for the, the clothing pickups for, for fall and winter. So stay tuned to see that. Also hit me up on the social media if you haven't already. I mean, I got the black Yeezys in. I put a pic of those up last week. So I will be posting previews and on foot stuff and things like that on my Instagram page before I put up the video. So hit me up on there. Uh, comment on my photos. Let me know you're a subscriber. It'd be cool to chat with some of you guys. Also hit me up on Twitter. I'm gonna post all kinds of updates on there. I mean, I already do. So make sure you guys are getting in on that as well. My Instagram and Twitter pages are both at Eddie Anthony, which is my name. Uh, that's just gonna be in the description for you guys if you wanna go check those out. Other than that though, thank you guys for watching. This is Eddie from Sneaker Addiction signing out.